Hello fashion sewers. In today's video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew a facing to a V neckline. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here I've got a sample of a V neckline and what I've done is stay stitched it in order to stabilise the shaping of the neckline and the next thing to do is to put the facing onto the neckline. Here I've got the front part of the facing which is as you can see a V. I've interfaced it with fusible interfacing and that's the right side and I've also got two sections that make up the back. The next thing you need to do is to pin your facing along the shoulder points, the back to the front, so you've got the right size facing, place a pin and then I'm going to stitch a 1.5 centimetre uh, seam allowance and that's 5 eighths of an inch. Here we have the facing with the shoulder seams now sewn. This is the right side and that's what the wrong side looks like. With the garment on the right side, place the right side of your facing on top, putting it into position, matching up the shoulder seams and also don't forget to match up your notches and then your pins should be at the ready to start pinning. I'm going to pin that all the way around and I'll come back to you once I'm at my sewing machine. I'm starting to sew my seam allowance of the neckline. I'm going to pin this out as I go. Turning. Now as I've said earlier, I've stay stitched the garment. But I haven't stay stitched the facing because I've put interfacing onto it. But you can also put interfacing along the neckline of the garment also. It really does depend on the fabric that you're working with whether you want to stay with stay stitching or you would prefer to use interfacing. So if you've got a loosely woven fabric then yeah I would interface as well as interface your facing of course. Now when you come to a V, I put a, a pin this way, I come to a point here and what we need to do is do a stitch straight on, just one stitch straight on and that will help with the V shaping. Oh, oh. Done two stitches in there, that, that should still be okay. Just about trap to make sure that I've got my back into my work. Come round and then start sewing the rest of the V. I've now sewn the facing to the garment and we need to release this tension here. So what you need to do to get the point of your scissors, just clip as close to the stitching, not too close, you don't want to cut the stitching, a couple of millimetres away and then that releases the tension and I'll be able to get my nice V shaping. The next thing I have to do once I've done that is to trim and grade the seams that will allow the seams to be not too bulky and then once I've done that I'll come back to you. I've now trim and grade my seam and the next thing is to pull the, seam, the, sorry, the facing to the wrong side of the garment put a couple of pins in making sure that the seam isn't shown on the front of the garment so it's a couple of millimetres inside of your garment and I'm going to work my way down to the point to make sure I'm happy with it and then that just needs to be pressed into position so we get my point tucked inside and that should be nice and easy there's my point starting to form now if I turn my work to face you you can now see the V shaping starting to take place as a bit of pluckering there but I haven't stitched that that can be pressed away so that's what I'm going to be doing next now there we have it your faced interface V neckline and as I said 
earlier that all that needed was some steam pressing with your with your iron just so you can get into that corner there and the next step after that if I just take this out the way and show you the wrong side this is how your facing will look like on the wrong side and as you can see a nice beautiful clean finished V shaping and in order to keep the facing on the inside of the garment what we then need to do is an understitch all the way around and that will stop the interfacing coming to the front of your garment. The reason why you apply facing to a neckline is to hide the raw edges of the neckline and also to give it shape. Now in order to do this technique you do also need to be able to um, trim and grade and I've done a video tutorial on that and how to understitch in order to keep the facing on the inside of your garment. So if you have any comments or queries please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next